Hello there. Uh, this is my second uh, update on my LED Magic scrolling board project. Uh, for those who watched my first video, since last time, there were a few updates. The project is still in the uh, prototyping stage on the breadboard. However, I made some improvements as for my development process. So now I attached the USB ISP programmer directly to the port, to the processor, so I can program it in the system. I don't have to take it out and put in the programmer anymore. And I added here the 5 volt voltage -like regulator on good old 7805 integrated voltage regulator and my as you can see it has radiator my lame radiator attached I ordered some radiators online but they're still coming and it gets pretty it gets pretty hot when it works I had to do it because the five volts I was getting from the regular power adapter was not well regulated and I was having constant problems with the functioning of the external MOS CMOS RAM here. Now the, con the Atmel controller is pretty tolerant for the voltage uh, variations but not the RAM chip apparently. So since the last time I upgraded the uh, firmware greatly. I added several functions to it. One of the functions... Uh, first of all I improved the scrolling, the scrolling algorithm and now it's uh, fully working in the interrupts uh, as well as the serial communication protocol. Now all, all also works in, in the uh, UART interrupt routine. I improved also the host application, added several new options to it. And uh, so first of all, I will start with the firmware. So firmware received upgrades to the scrolling algorithm, the communication algorithm, and also it is uh, there are two new modes. There is clock mode, which turns this controller with this uh, LED matrix board into the regular clock, which is quite accurate. And uh, I added the uh, raw data scrolling ability, so I can send just any designs I want as a raw data from the host application to the controller, and it will scroll it. So in the host application, and the improvements I made, first is the setup. Setup is for the texts that can be sent to the controller to be scrolled subsequently uh, with the uh, parameters, scroll algorithm parameters that are provided right here that can be changed on the fly from this dialog box, like scrolling speed, delay between changing the lines of text, and the smoothness of the scroll. From this dialog I can add new lines, delete lines, as well as, as, well as send single lines to the controller to be scrolled in the external mode, as well as send all of them to the controller to be scrolled in the autonomous mode uh, and this is the mode it works now in scrolling the texts that I sent to it from the setup dialog I can also send any of those texts on fly with upload one function Here we go, now it scrolls just this one text 
continuously. Scrolling smoothness makes the uh, text scroll faster but with less resolution. For instance, I will just now click here and increment it to 2. Because as you can see, scrolling is much faster now, but not as smooth as it was before. Go back to 1. Smoother but slower scrolling. And scrolling speed is just how often the interrupt routine works. Uh, 3 is the optimum and the fastest. Changing to lower speeds definitely makes the scrolling look worse. But I added this function uh, because I thought that this uh, may be needed, maybe one time in the future. I wanted the control to be as flexible as possible. Let's go back to 3, which is the best. Okay, so this is the regular text setup, which sends just the strings to the controller, and the controller has internal array of the ASCII characters, and it just converts those texts to those sequences of bytes that need to be sent to the LED matrix, and they appear in the form of text, readable by humans. However, I decided that in the host application I should be able to send, to automatically create or manually create and send any design, any sequence of bytes to the controller that should be scrolled then on the LED matrix board. For this purpose I added raw data setup. Raw data setup in current form is very primitive. I just have to design uh, calculate those hexadecimal codes that are sent to the controller enter them in the setup and then I can upload them all to the controller and those designs will be scrolled over the red matrix board. Let me demonstrate here now gonna be sent to the controller. Now we are in the process of sending. Scrolling stopped. They are being transferred. Just few more. And now we have those irregular designs created with the raw data setup sent to the scrolling board. So on the side of host application now in the future I can develop its own its own character table or semi graphics table and send those data directly to the controller to be scrolled. So I don't only have to uh, don't have to rely only on those on that built in character generator in the controller, which will be kind of uh, thing that will not be changed in the future. It will be a firmware permanently embedded in the controller. I have to work a little bit on the speed of this uh, raw data scrolling algorithm, because this is unfortunately the fastest I can get on the smooth, with the smooth setup. I get it a little faster when I reduce the smoothness. So it's not that bad, but I would like I would like it to be smoother on the on the smooth level number one, which is the best. Back to one, as you can see scrolling is very slow. So that was, uh, th these were the improvements, oh there is one more, uh, clock, I can turn this uh, little controller with LED matrix board to clock, there we go, 
its time is set at the moment of initialization with the same time as there is on the PC, but then it's fully autonomous. I can turn off the PC, I can turn off the host application, and this clock will continue to work until the power is, power is cut. And it will show quite accurate time. I tested it for two days and uh, there was not even one second difference between the host between the original host time and the uh, autonomous controller time. So that is it. That's uh, update number two on LED Matrix Scrolling Board project. Thank you for watching.